Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy John from the Gamer Duo here, welcoming you back to another episode of the Sog Lock. Hopefully y'all are having a wonderful, 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 and oh, did I forget to say wonderful day? Because I am um, having to face controls for the 800 billionth time, but I'm having a wonderful day myself, and honestly, uh, <coughs> today I'm a little nervous for today's episode, not gonna lie, like... I get to turn the experience chair back on because, uh, yeah, it is a uh, Jimaroni time. Um, obviously, we got a while before that. That'll be the tail end of this episode. So if you guys don't want to watch the actual video and just want to skip straight to the scariness, um, yeah, it'll be over there somewhere, to be honest. And I, like I said, I do not quite know how crazy this episode's about to be. I mean, I have a feeling there is going to be quite a big amount of craziness, but yeah, we we should probably, I, I'll hold off on like, oh my gosh, oh, that might be part of what the problem is, is this, I, I might need to deactivate the circle pad entirely, um, because wow, that did a lot of just things I didn't want it to do. Also, did we ever, did we claim the old rod from this dude? I think we did, and then we left, right? Oh yeah, we did, because it said it. it we, we had it when I turned on the experience chair. Duh. Now, I am going to run it a little differently. I am not going to catch the Route 8 encounter. But, I am going to get the Ambrit Town encounter, because there is an Ambrit Town encounter. Um, you know, we were talking about this. Um, we, as in, wow, my hair is freaking a mess. I got to change that before work. Um... But yeah, we were talking about that, where it's like, some people run it where they can get both of them, other people run it where you don't get both. It was just like, to me, it makes more sense to only have the one up top. Even though it's technically unavoidable to get the uh, the top one. Um, but yeah, I figured that's probably, that's what I was going to do. I mean, we got a Star Ravia there, so I'm not even mad about what I could have missed or what I didn't miss. So, like, I can't, like, I can't be upset. Oh, I forgot. Gen 6 fishing is annoying. Oh, hi. It's KD. I'll, I'll take it. Literally KD's favorite Pokemon. Um, well, that was a lot easier said than done. Uh, get in the ball because you deserve it. Okay. Also, I need to remember because I just fricked up and lost out on a Pokeball because I fricked up. Um, sets of 10, John. If you do it in sets of 10, you would get a, you would have had an extra Premier Ball. Like, but I mean, I guess here's my thought process. Like, who actually wants to take the time to do that? It's like, oh my god, it takes an extra three clicks. But it's like, it makes so much sense. It's like, I need to do that. But yeah, hi, Katie. You're being added to the squad. And then I get to ask Katie when the frick does this evolve. Because I want to say it's like actually pretty early. Jeez, my hair. I'm going to come out of my hair like a hundred times, guys. I'm sorry. It, I mean, okay. What it is, is I took a shower. Uh, which is something that's a good thing. You sh should take showers pretty regularly. I I take one usually like every at least five times a week, at least. Well, obviously for his work, more like six times a week. So I usually sometimes I'll miss a day, but honestly that's not too big of an issue because one day is it's usually the day off that I'm really not doing much of anything in the first place. So. Yeah, because you guys definitely needed to know those habits. Oh, this is the bad EXP shit. That's right. Do you, do you care for a sky battle? No. We are not doing that. That's so disappointing. Why don't you want to battle people like me? Uh, because I just, quite frankly, am too scared of you. Century Link build! Yes! Isn't there, like, an evolution of that whipped dream in here? Somebody hands you, like, a whipped dream, and you're just like, cool, yo. Like, do we really care about it? No, but cool that you have it, I guess. Like, that's great. Oh, I need my backer. That's what I was missing. I was like, I feel like I'm, I'm, I want to lean back a lot, and I'm, like, doing this, and I'm like, oh, my God, guys, it's crazy over here. It's like, no, have your backer. Because if you have your backer, then this is as it's, it, this. It looks so much better when I have my backer. <sighs> I don't know. It's one of those things. I, I just. It was one of those. I noticed it and was like, 
something feels wrong. Something feels off. Oh my gosh, my backer is not behind me because honestly, I completely destroyed the frick out of my chair. You guys can't even, you can't even, see, yeah, that's how bad it is. You can't even see it if I turn it over. <laughs> so, I mean, I've had the chair for three and a half or three years now almost. So, it's not like it's a new chair by any means, but I still want to keep it for another year or two before getting a new one. So, like, there's no, like, in my head, I'm like, is there a point to having it or uh, getting a new one? No. So, therefore, I'm not. That's a lot of the reason, like, what I do. Like, is there a point to getting a new one? Yes or no. If the answer is yes, then get the new one. Um, and if it's affordable, obviously, because if it's, like, something I can't afford, I'm not going to buy it. Duh. That's how that works. Um, the other thing is, like, how much will it help? And... That's how I go about a lot of things because it's like, like with a chair, it's not going to help me that much when I can just put a pillow back there and it feels comfortable and I'm just fine with that. Like, no reason to gouge myself $180 for something that won't, will do minimal amounts of stuff that actually matters. So, we have Nick out in front and I, oh, oh we have Beto Shock now. I should probably have gone through the team because our team changed a little bit. Not a lot, but enough to, like, elicit a team recap. We have Venoshock now on Nick, which is nice because Poison Powder self-proccing Venoshock is nice. Pincushion Cat has uh, no moveset change. Satan got Shadow Ball, so yes. And he's Origin Form right now. So that also will play and loom large into this because my defense is lower, but my attack stats are higher, so that's good. So Shadow Punch is going to do a lot, but Shadow Ball is ultimately going to be better in all, all, almost all cases. Hentai learned Sludge instead of uh, Poison Fang, which I don't know how I feel about that, but we'll, we'll, we'll live with it. Um, same moveset, same moveset. So, but again, I want to try and get everybody to not be level, uh, over level 28 before the gym, but I, I think Dino might, but it's fine. We're okay. Freaking, I'm going to scream into the mic because every every time I got it, it's just a, a more more reason to scream into the mic. It's like, not I'm not even tired. And it's just like, you're going to go to sleep, boy. And it's just like, no, I don't want to go to sleep. Also, I realized, so I was recording Persona, not yesterday. Yesterday, I, I actually learned some stuff about Persona. And I'll talk about it in the Persona series. Because, anyways, I'm trying to make a Persona series. But I know that the series is going to be long. Like, I'm already in in it. Like, knowing it's going to be a long series, it's going to be something that's crazy. You just got the other. Oh, my God. So, yeah. So, knowing that, I look at it and I'm like, okay, then. Well, we know that this is the case. So, since we know that this is the case, then we can carry on about our day. Right? Right? But yeah, 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 I forgot that there's a certain aspect of the game that I didn't realize was in the game in the first place. So I was asking a friend, and I was like, so um, I'm getting one-tapped by things. And they're like, did you grind? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. That's a thing, you know, leveling up Pokemon. And then it reminded me I had to level up these Pokemon. So, like, <laughs> that was the tie-in. Oh, my mother freaking goodness. I just freaking fixed you, and you broke instantaneously. That is not allowed. No. You are not allowed to break instantaneously. Okay? It... Ugh. So, yeah. So, it was kind of hilarious to me when it was just like, oh, yeah. You know, that. You know, that aspect of games. Also, hi, Torterra. We have a nice type for you. You're going to get baba doodled um so yeah so <laughs> i was like oh i have to grind in pokemon and persona persona and pokemon grinding woo yas we love it we stand it also frick um i am peeking there we go i shouldn't be peeking anymore <laughs> but yeah yeah um you're dead though bye bye Torterra. have a great life also they're level 26 they're actually on par with us which is like okay
I don't know how to feel if the fact they're actually on par. <sighs> because if they're on par, then I did not train enough. Like, okay, so and the reason why I'm saying that is because I purposely trained a 26. Thinking that it would be well, well more than enough. But... Apparently, it is not, but because of that, it's just like, uh, how do I go about it? Like, do I want to compare it? I mean, like, here's the thing. The gym's ace is 28, so, like, getting to 26, it does make sense that it was not enough, but also, I'm like, Dino's level 27. Do I want to, uh, possibly risk that then gym fight has six pokemon do i want to risk that there's a lot of things it's like do i want to risk that how do i feel about that that was what was in my head the entire time it's like what should i feel what what is my thoughts <clears throat> do you have the ability to be the pokemon center like pokemon center's gym oh yes 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 girl send me them happenies snap claps for you for having a happeny Yes, girl. Pinkfishing cat, get out here. Get your levels. Woohoo! See, Nick's gonna be level 27 now, too. Like, and same with Pincushion Cat, because I actually I purposely trade Pin Cushion Cat slightly more than everybody else. Because it's Pincushion Cat, let's be honest. Like I would have been dumb if I didn't do that. Aw, you set up both layers of spikes for them to be washed away instantaneously. I appreciate you doing nothing, Happiny. You make my day every day. Pink actually got level 27. Oh, Nick didn't even level up. Poor Nick. Larion. Uh, well, I think it makes the most sense to do this and then just pull the double swap. I'd rather be hit on entry and clear the spikes. And then, from clearing the spikes, I can then go into Satan. And Satan can take this out. Yeah, I like that idea. That idea seems pretty good. Uh, it's so weird to have, like, a shiny. Also, cosmic power. Uh, okay. I don't have any, uh, I don't have any ground moves. I was like, I don't have a ground type. I did have a ground type. I just ended up losing it. Uh, oh, you're not resistant to this anymore. I got to, I got to remember, Steel's weakness chart is different. Because it is no longer, um, resisted to Dark and to, uh, Ghost. They no longer resist it. They have the same other resistances, but yeah. The, yeah, I, and then they resist Fairy, obviously. But I do have to remember that because that's a big change. There we go. We're seeing Dino. Dino popped off level 28. You go. You go, Dino. You go. Take it. Take it. Take it. So all but... Honestly, all but a Pokemon that I'm not going to use in this battle is level 27. And then I have the Ace of 28. So I feel okay with my decision making. Do I have berries? Berries are probably going to be better for my situation. Oh, that's right. I was so, I don't know how, but I was getting like Ayapapa berries and other berries like that. And I don't know how I was doing that. So if you guys know how that was happening, that'd be great. Oh, Charty Berry. I like, oh wait, no, no, no. I can give the Charty Berry to Dino. Just in case something wants to be stupid and hit me with a rock move. Javoka Berry is not something I want. Citrus Berry, I can take Citrus Berry and give that to Satan, who's going to now level up, or get full health out of that. And then, honestly, I'm okay with healing Nick like that. Also, do I even want Nick to be the lead mon? Um, hmm. Also, I could have just not did what I did, because I have another fight ahead of me, so I just wasted the potion. I knew that, too. I straight up was like, I think I wasted that when I when I clicked the move. I was like, did I waste that? Yeah, you did. 
<laughs> to be honest, though, let's switch into Satan. Not as the lead for the gym, because I don't want to, again, I don't want to pull that crap. But, I mean, obviously, if I have to use Satan, I will. But I figure Satan will at least be able to murder things. Although Satan really hasn't been able to murder things. Satan has been the, so far a, a sad surprise for me. Because I would have expected Satan to just blow things back. And it just, it, it really hasn't been able to do that. Like, yeah, even a Mareep, it couldn't Oko. Like, it's insane. It's like, that's a Mareep that's on the field, right? Oh my gosh. Satan, like, Satan is defensive enough to where it doesn't matter, but like, for having 120 in both of its, like, stats like that i would have been more like thinking that more would have been done you know i guess this is a good way to put it i would have thought hey you have a lot in certain like in your stat oh god you have a lot in the special attack and attack you have a grissius orb which gives you like extra stab and it's like and it's still doing not much it's just like what in the world like, Dino is doing more than a freaking Garatina. That should tell you something's up when freaking Dino is doing more damage to these things. Now, you could say that it is due to the fact that Dino has a positive attack nature. Plus, Aerialite's 1.3 times versus 1.2 times. But this is the mother freaking Garatina. Like... The fact that a mother frickin' Garatina is not giving you the same output as a freaking Dino is freaking insane, okay? Like, you, you feel me? Dino, with Dino's output of damage is as high as it is, it's just like, wow, okay. Also, I mean, I guess here's the other, here's the other thing, here's the other thing. Is, is the way I've been using Dino, I guess, is another thing that we can talk about. Because I've been using Dino more so under the guise of, oh, this is super effective. Let's utilize that. Oh, Glaciate has 95% accuracy. So it's like, oh, this is super effective. Dino, take care of it. You're good. You're, you're chill, buddy. Like, and I guess, yes, under that guise, it would make sense to why I feel that way. But it's also just like... I just would expect a Garatina, out of, a more out of a Garatina, to be honest. Oh, that could have been a very bad situation. I'm glad it wasn't. The fact that you just whipped out an Iron Tail out of nowhere, that's the exact situation that Cryo could have died in. Um, so thank you for the miss. <laughs> okay then. Pancushion Cat got to level 28. Yeah, okay, this is exactly what I wanted. I trained to exactly where it needed to be. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I stand that. That was exactly what I wanted to have happen. In like, I wanted to train to the point where most of my team would be level 28. Hentai decided not to evolve, but that's Hentai's problem. Or level up, but that's his problem. So, I also like how, like, my entire team, except for, I think, one Pokemon, is all male. And, yeah, except for Pincushion Cat. We, we talked about that one episode ago, but it's just still weird to me. Okay. What do I want to trust? I I like trusting in Nick here. We'll find out if that's a good idea, but that's who I'm deciding to trust in. Time to save just in case. Just in case the game sites crash or something stupid wants to happen. Uh, also, by the way, the text fix, I never fixed this text, and I looked at a comment where Joy was like, DK met Colf. That's funny. And I was like, oh, I didn't do that. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. He says to do stuff or stuff. You've come back from your Sinnoh vacation? <gasps> it's quite an achievement that you have climbed all this way up again. <laughs> I have a feeling that our battle will turn out to be your nightmare. I hope you'll show me your skill as a trainer, and hopefully it'll surpass even mine. Damn, DK! You are just 
I'm gonna punch you in the gut. D DK? DK really out here wanting to punch me in the freaking gut. He, he goes, he straight up looks, at, looks me in the eye, says, you worked a lot to get back to me, and now you're gonna die to me again, bitch. And I'm like, oh, okay. Well, and then you lead out for the 50 freaking K, because of course you do, because why not? You know, you, you have to do that too, right? You know, you gotta beat me on my own game. I mean, honestly, I feel like if anybody would beat me on my own game, it would be DK. So, like, honestly, it does make sense. I'm gonna go on the offensive. Ah! I'm mad at this freaking thing right now. Why does it have to be a big butt nugget? I don't know how to, why, I don't know why, why it's doing that. We did land it, let's go, let's go, let's go. Stockpile, oh. You really are trying to beat me in my own game, excuse me. Excuse me, Dog Towel. I don't appreciate that. Venachok. That's 130 base power attack coming your way. How much does that do? A hundred and thirty base power attack. Did that? What? In what world? Is a freaking 130 base power attack doing nothing? Like, I quite frankly don't know a world where that 130 base power attack does literally hot garbage amount of damage. I think I just got to acid spray then. Jeez. This thing is a big tank. Big tank. Okay, well now maybe Venishok kills because it's 130 base power? And now it's minus one spinap? Cool. The fact that... Jeez, oh, Nick. Jesus. Louisa, Nick. That should not be that little of damage. DK has a dumb sparse? I mean, yeah, he does. What? It's almost like... I didn't I didn't realize that DK had a dumb sparse or anything. Honestly, it's probably a footlong uh, freaking... Subway freaking footlong dumb sparse, but... I'm saying it. Horn drill is a thing. It does exist. And I gotta be careful of that. We have both of our poison powers. Because again, horn this is part of the reason why I try not to level up above the gym leader swagger. Oh boy. I don't have any physical moves to take advantage of that, which is a problem. But I have a oh 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 wait. We have a shallow stable, but berries are important. We have a person berry, let's use it. Oh my god, you're gonna put me to sleep before you freaking horn drill me? That's usually not a good way to go about things, but I mean, you do you, I guess, DK. I'll, I'll just deliver a big blow here. Mega kick. Oh, that's not, that's fine. That's like a lot more damage than I anticipated. Hello? Why did that actually do so much damage? I feel like that should not have ever in a million years done that much damage. Um, okay. I guess we're doing that much damage today. Because we just want to. and Because they can. Oh. I, I saw it coming. But, like, I also forgot that they could heal. <laughs> not gonna lie. But they don't have full heals or anything like that. So we're okay. Oh my gosh. Freaking computer. I'm gonna look into how to fix that problem. Because it is getting to be a, a very big nuisance. 
to me. Like, it really is. Um, so I'll look into it. Because it is quite ridiculous the amount of times it's just wanting to do that. Ah, now we got confused. Okay. Here's the thing. Our attack... Oh, we had a heal powder, too. Okay. We have plus four attack, and we just can't use the attack stat. It's kind of frustrating. Now he's going to try to put us to sleep. Jeez Louise! Uh, this Dunsparce is actually high-key annoying. But I will knock out the Dunsparce right here with the Metashock. Oh, lol. Key getting super aggravated because it's, it's happening way higher than normal. And it wasn't happening earlier in this series, because if it was, I would have noticed it. It's literally post-sleep lock situation. And I don't know what caused it. Oh, the sleep proc before the, the switch proc. Arkin. Well, I was going to have to switch, so... At least positive notes is switching was inevitable there. I guess we have to go into Satan. I don't want to, but we have to. I mean, I can't utilize the plus four attack. I don't have anything for that. I don't have anything for an Archon in general. So we just get a murder with Shadow Ball. That's what we gotta do. We crit. <laughs> Poor Archon. Archon didn't deserve to get bebop booped like that, but I guess it did. Maractus. Oh, look, Dino, you get to come out. You actually get to have a life today. <laughs> like, unlike D I feel bad. Dino's been, like, been put in... Uh, Dino's been put in the corner on timeout, essentially. Which, I mean, okay, if we're gonna be honest... Apparently, he was a naughty boy uh, a couple days ago, so... Makes sense. But... Real life should not... Uh, collude with us. Oh, hi, King Kelder. Um, I'm staying in. I, tr I want, I truly want to see Dino's potential here. Straight up. I mean, this is a very defensive Pokemon. Wow. Wow, on two regards. Hi. One, I'm surprised we did that much damage. And two, I'm surprised it clapped back with that much damage, too. Dino's level 30. Rest of the team gets experience. Big Cushion Cat's 29. Satan's 28. Satan what? Oh. You know what? Halloween just happened. Adding ghosts to the ghost typing to things could prove fruitful. With the way that my moveset it is. And it's a Garatina. Dragon is only super effective against Dragon, right? And I have an Ice type. Yes, it can't take physical hits to save its life. But what is Twister going to do? Twister is a great training move, but... What's the point in having a great training move? Like, when I have the experience share, have other Pokemon that can have training moves that are similar anyways yeah i can't believe i'm doing it but i'm doing it trick or treat yes we're gonna be super fun it's everything now ariados oh well pfft. okay i mean you didn't have to just you know whip out ariados after whipping out so many other crazy things oh my god it happened three times in one battle but hey, we're going to get further than we did last time. Dino, return. Be happy, boy. Sometimes you're not a happy boy, and it's scary. Nick is, Nick is 29. Oh, hi. Um, 
Again, we don't have any utilization of it. That's the problem. It's the lack of utilization of physical moves. But plus attack, plus defense, plus accuracy. I was using poison powder in conjunction. I don't have. Ah! Do I want that though? Like, because here's the thing. It, again, it could prove very fruitful to have. Acid Spray already knocks it. I'm going to do it. Because it's the same, it, it, same slash similar setup. Right? Because Poison Powder into Acid or Venoshock makes Venoshock 130 base power. Right? But Acid Spray has the special defense. And so on a 60 base power, 65 base power move, it's doing exactly that. Although, oh, but I mean, but then the question is, is Coil better than Cotton Garden? I would say no to that in a heartbeat. I, yeah, no, I'm getting rid of Poison Powder. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I, I like Coil. I like ga the gain in accuracy so that way I don't have to like, because it's a 33% buff to accuracy. So like, with that, it means that moves that are 70 base power and below will always hit. Which means I could probably learn Gunk Shot and Coil in conjunction with each other. Making 120 base power plus one freaking... Yeah, no. 100% accurate. Like, that sounds great. Plus, I can Cotton Guard on top of that if I feel threatened. So that way I have plus four defense, which is 3x defense. Yeah, no, I like that. I do like that, actually. Um, some things seem out of reach, no matter how hard you try. However, it is important never to give up, no matter the odds. I was drafted in the second round, so I understand that. To commemorate such an impressive show of teamwork, please accept the cliff badge. I mean, the second round... I mean, that's the thing, though, DK. You're drafted in the second round by a team, my love team, so it's fine. Pokemon up to level 40 will have no issues. Here, you also have this. Follow me. I mean, I'd follow you anywhere, let's be honest. Um, You definitely weren't in my, like, thirst trap of men in the freaking thing, right? Like, that, no way you were in my thirst trap area. Well, we got a gym badge. Um, and we could get encounters, but I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to figure out the try and figure out the issue, uh, the button issue. But we'll see you guys in the next episode when we go ahead and take on Route 10, get to the next, hopefully, next city, Geocentrish Town. And we'll see you guys then. Bye.